Throw me a lifeline and don't let me sink. I'm willing to fall for you. Oh, Scotland, you are absolutely gorgeous. Seriously, I'm driving to the Isle of Skye. I've done it three times and never seen it with snow. There's not a lot of snow on the mountains right now, but it's giving great contrast to the actual mountains and the size. Scotland, you are just beautiful. I've come around the corner and just witnessed this. It is so bloody spectacular. Just to the right hand side, there is a waterfall absolutely beaming down the mountain. I just had to pull over it. I want to get up there and explore. It looks like it's seriously rushing down. It rained overnight, so there should be plenty to look at. I'm only going to take the Canon G5X and the GoPro and the gimbal and get some B-roll footage. And if there's an image to be taken up there, I'll take it on the Canon. So let's stop wasting time and get up there and explore that. Oh, Scotland, Scotland, Scotland. This is why you are one of my favorite countries on this planet. I could stare at this all freaking day. It is so beautiful here. When I got to the top of the mountain, I did find a composition that I really, really loved. I wish I had my Fuji, but on the flip side, I'm already interested to see what the Canon can deliver. I shot at f7.1, f9, and f11 because I'm not sure what the best focal range for the Canon is right now. So I'm really interested to see what it does. But also it gave me a different shutter speed for each aperture. So it gave me that silky water effect. The composition was basically a main part of the waterfall to the right hand side, the rest of the waterfall leading all the way down to the bottom of the road with this mount in the background as the background in the image. I shot it at still ISO 125 because the Canon does suffer quite a bit of noise in low light and right now it is quite low light so i'm interested to see what the canon delivers at what aperture also suits it best you guys have seen the image before i will i, I hope it turns out all right i'm really interested to see what the canon does deliver because it might find in future plans that i just take the canon on future trips not solely but on hikes like that where i haven't got an image in mind it might come into play Right now, I just want to soak up these sights. I'm going to keep driving on this Isle of Sky road, have some lunch and just soak in the more sights. So let's get going and see what this road to the Isle of Sky has to offer. But right now, it's so freaking beautiful. I've said it many times, I know. I would change my ways, I know for sure. When all the crows decide to meet, they settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little while So be here as the night as you can see, conditions have taken a turn for the worse, but we are in Scotland, so what else do you expect? 
It's what I wanted actually from Scotland. I cannot believe how warm it is today, but it's turned windy and wild, so conditions are not great right now. I've got a typical sunset for a last year in August of Elan Donan Castle, as you can see right now. But you can only imagine that conditions are not going to be the same way now. So in the morning, I'm going to hit this castle up once again and get a different aspect of this castle. But right now, I'm just going to bunker down, get some rest, get some sleep, and then I'll see you guys in the morning again. Ciao! <laughs> Good morning guys. I feel like I have to be very peaceful and tranquil this morning. Conditions are so much different to yesterday at Elan Donan. Until last night about one o'clock, it was still heavy rain and wind that was just moving the van so much, but conditions right now are completely different. The composition that I wanted to shoot this morning with the bridge just wasn't what I was after. It was my first time going onto the bridge and actually having a look, but the actual leading line of the bridge just didn't do what I was after to lead into the castle. It sort of leads away from the castle then back in. I wanted to use me as a human element to get the actual sort of atmosphere of a person and the loneliness of this castle, even though it is quite in a touristy area. But I walked past the same composition I used last year and I could not turn it away. Beautiful reflection this morning, no wind, but even now, 15, 20 minutes after I've shot the image, yes, I have already shot the image, conditions are so much different. There's light rain falling. You can hardly see the background. It looks like a lot of rain coming. So conditions are so ever-changing here. My one tip for Scotland is if you get an image and you see it, just take it. You've got about two or three minutes sometimes. The image I composed this morning was a little bit different to the one I shot last year. I've shot in a lot wider this year at 14mm, f11, ISO 200, and it was right on blue hour, so completely different. Very, very minimalist, this very simple image. I've shot everything wrong, and the reason I say that is you should always work in thirds when you're shooting landscape photography. I've placed the castle right dead smack bang in the middle of the image and right on the horizon to give that perfect reflection shot. You can see to the left, there is a mountain which curves right into the image and on the right, another one that curves right into the image. Very simple composition, but I really, really like it. Very different to the one I captured last year with the moody skies. I have given one and a half second shutter speed with the F9 that I have shot as I have sold my filters. So, but conditions were so good this morning it gave me that perfect reflection but already conditions are completely deteriorated it's incredible how much ever-changing Scotland is but I think that's why I love it so much It seems the best of the light has passed. Behind the camera right now, the sunrise is still occurring, which is actually giving off some really, really good light. But for me, the best of the light was in the morning, the blue hour shot to get that perfect reflection. This morning, all this seaweed that's here right now wasn't here this morning. So post-production side for me, it's going to be much, much easier. Also, it's just pushing on 9.30 right now, and there's a lot more tourism, buses, people, cars coming in. So post-production on the castle would have been a lot to hassle. The only thing I do have to definitely get rid of, on the back of the castle you can see scaffolding, which I have to move. Just to clean that image up just a little bit, plus the seaweed in the foreground. I really, really hope you enjoy this image. It has been shot numerous times, but it is a blue hour shot, and it is very, very simple. Enjoy. There you have the image. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did shooting it. The road towards the Isle of Skye is absolutely breathtaking. Not as photogenic as Glencoe, obviously, and not as well shot, but it is still beautiful and really worth the time. The last two days that I've been exploring it, I've really enjoyed just chilling out with less people around 
and going off the beaten track and exploring it myself. The Isle of Skye is going to be absolutely gorgeous. It's my third time there. So if you are not already, please subscribe. There is so much more content to come. That is all for me today. You know I always say, get out there, explore, travel, do whatever you have to do to make yourself happy. Ciao. Scotland. Oh my God, Scotland.